believe he's gone. I just can't believe he's gone. Our baby is gone. He was supposed to be happily married, and now he's... Get a hold of yourself. But... I mean, these things happen. But just that I keep seeing the wedding over and over in my head. He looks so handsome. And there's death. Tossing a beautiful bouquet. Not that, rose. Tramp. Lots of condoms what you toss. We met in a Bible study class. He was very different. <laughs> he was driving himself nuts. Sometimes he would ramble on incoherently, complaining about anything that might pop into his head. He was drowning in his own stream of consciousness. I remember one day he seemed to be feeling okay. And then he started talking about something that he read in the newspaper and he started raving about <laughs> the deficit or acid rain or something. Yeah, I remember Adam real well. I saw him a few weeks ago before he got blown up. It was the usual kind of thing. He talked a lot. I thought I was a genius. I didn't know him very well, but I heard he was a jerk. I can't stand funerals. I only came because I looked good in black. We would talk about space a lot. He said that the uh, rotation of the Earth made him nauseous. Okay. Oh, 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 yes. oh. Shoes. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay. Einstein. He's at the top of the sheet. He passes off the Galileo. He goes for three. Yeah. You can't pass yourself on one on one. <laughs> so, Sir Adam, how does it feel to be an almost married man? I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I mean, Beth's a great girl, but you know, sometimes I think she's more like a X positron. I'm an electron. And it's our ultimate destiny to randomly collide and annihilate each other. <laughs> Sometimes I think she's just getting married to get away from Reverend Dad. Yeah, who put that into your head? She did. Hey, stolen by Hale. Hubble's Weasley assistant. Scores! Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, if you're not sure about the marriage, maybe you shouldn't go through with it. I mean, uh, you're never too keen on institutions anyway. I don't know what to think, what to do. I mean, Peter, 99-something percent of the universe is made up of particles humans can't even detect. Who am I to question reality? Yeah, so what's that got to do with Beth? I don't know. Look, as Socrates would say, reality is sex. All sex is fun. Therefore, reality is fun. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a pervert. It's true. All the Greeks were. Now bend over. <laughs> I remember the first time I had sex. Yeah. It was this wild, passionate thrill. I was, I don't know what I'm doing, but this woman I'm with is breathing real heavy, and I'm thinking, wow, I must be good. I mean, listen to her. Only later I found out she had asthma. <laughs> Adam. Adam, what is it? Something wrong? Sorry, I got this uh, photo in my head. I saw it in the newspaper the other day and I can't get rid of it. Yeah, well, uh, it's your ball. <laughs> yeah? What's this book? I'm winning. <laughs> it's a ball. Wonder Woman from my A basket here could mean the Nobel Prize. I was going to the wedding. I was one of the bridesmaids. I had this really cute dress, and I dyed my shoes to match with hose, and I was thinking about maybe wearing a hat, but Beth didn't really like the idea, so I would complain that I was fat. And Adam would say, don't think of it as fat. Think of it as potential energy. It's the nicest thing he ever said to me. Well, they came in to see me, and they really were a lovely couple. He did seem a little distracted, but oh, that's quite normal. <laughs> we're going to be married. Well, you have come to the right place. Now, what kind of ceremony did you lucky kids have in mind? We're not sure. That's why we're here. Well, here at Wanda's Wedding World, it is our job to make sure that your dreams come true. <laughs> now, when exactly is the blessed event scheduled? We haven't exactly set a date yet. 
Oh, well, there's no time to wait. <laughs> make haste, my dear, make haste. Now, of uh, which religious denomination are you? No. Protestant. I'm sorry? No. Protestant. Protestant. Good. Wonderful religion. Very popular choice. Now, exactly how many people do you estimate will be sharing in your glorious day? We don't know just yet, but probably a lot. We want a big wedding. And you deserve one. Now, would you like an indoor or an outdoor affair? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it, honey? Oh, but it does. What is the atmosphere, the ambiance you want to impart to your guests? Now, an outdoor spring ceremony, for instance, transposes an aura of freshness, loveliness. The bride be dead in the place. <laughs> best, the decor festooned with flowers, all pretending to a future of fertile health and everlasting happiness. <sighs> what if it rains? I like it. We'll take the outdoor spring. Good choice. 